goddamn button. Press the goddamn button. Yo, 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 this is Games and Graphics. You back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we are going to be installing Map Editor, okay? This is Map Editor. We're going to be installing it on the latest casino update, all right? So make sure that your game version is up to date. Now let's go ahead and go to the requirements. As I encourage everybody before you install or download any mod or script, always read the description what the author has provided, okay? Um, for this one right here, the installation we have right here, and also um, it has some more information on the change log throughout all of the different updates, all right? For this one, we are going to need Scriptbook V, Scriptbook and Native UI. I will have links down in the description to a video showing you how to install all three in one video. All right, so make sure you check that out before you install Map Editor. All right, once you get here to this link, you want to scroll down right here and select this little green arrow right here where it says 2.13 current. All right, this is the current version for Map Editor. All right. So once you click right here and you have this downloaded, it should look something like this. On my left hand side, I have a empty folder with map editor right here, as you can see. And on the right hand side of the screen, I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up. All right. So at this point, you should already have your scriptbook V, scriptbook V.net and native UI installed. So go ahead and open up your scripts folder in your Grand Theft Auto 5, open up your scripts folder. All right, now let's go back over to our map editor that we just downloaded. Let's go ahead and open up the map editor folder. And inside this folder, we are going to drag all of these files right here, okay? All of them except the native UI, okay? Because this is an old native UI file right there, okay? So we are going to take everything that you see I have highlighted and we are going to drag and drop those right here into our scripts folder. All right, I already have it, as you can see. So you're just drag and dropping them all of them into your scripts folder. All right, now what you wanna do is go back over to your scripts folder, go up to the top where it says Grand Theft Auto 5 and just click on Grand Theft Auto 5. That'll bring you back here to the directory right here. So now what we wanna do is right click on our mouse and we wanna make a new folder and we wanna name it maps, all right? Just like I have here. I created a new folder and I named it maps, all right? If you open up the maps folder, this is where we are going to be putting our uh, houses or mansions that are XML document files, okay? This is where we will be placing them, all right? Um, for example, I am going to pick a house and put it in there real quick. Let's see. So I'm going to drag and drop my house that I want to upload right here. All right. And if you like that one, I'll try to find a link to that one also. All right. Let's just make sure we know where that one is at. Right there. Okay. All right. Now we have map editor installed and I had dropped one house inside of there, right here inside the maps folder. We could go ahead and minimize both of these folders right here and uh, run the game. All right, once we're inside the game, let's go ahead and go over to where the house should be. And I believe it's right here. teleport over there right now give everything some time to load up around me all right now inside this park is where our house is going to be all right so what we what we want to do to open up our map editor is press the function key f7 once you press f7 the menu will pop up in the top of the left screen 
we're going to select load map and then select file chooser and then scroll down and select maps okay this is the maps folder that we created earlier and inside that maps folder is where we will put our houses at and that's where I dragged my house uh, Hollywood house 47 to okay so go ahead and select whichever house that you put inside and as you can see behind me everything will start to be built you'll see down in the bottom right it will um, say loading model and then when it's done above your mini map will be a message from map editor letting you know that everything has been loaded and if uh, something went wrong you will still get a message from map editor letting you know uh, if something was wrong if there was an error okay but right now we have success it said loaded map so let's go ahead and go inside now depending on um, your system and whatever mods and scripts you have installed already it might be laggy um, I usually have a lot of stuff installed in mine, but as you can see, we could go through the garage right here. We have uh, some cars already that load up with the house. We also have Chop out here. What's up, Chop? You gonna let me in, Chop? Can I get in? Chop, you wanna? Can't get in right here. Did you lock the door? <laughs> Just in case you can't get in, this will be a good time to have menu. If you don't have menu, I will leave a link down in the description showing you how to install menus very quick and easy. Alright, we're just going to add these doors to the database. Look at these doors right here. Go to Manage Entity Database, scroll down, select each door, and select Dynamic. Select Dynamic, back out of this, go down. Now we should be able to go through the doors. Oh. <laughs> but we're in the doors. <laughs> I'm not even sure we're supposed to go through there, but we in here now. <laughs> oh, man, that was crazy. And like always, we got some strange people in our house. You know what I mean? People on the balcony smoking cigarettes and stuff. We even got a wolf in here. Hey, buddy. Okay. All right. Well, that's how you load up your house or um, whatever XML file that you are trying to load up. And now, if you wanted to uh, get rid of it, we're going to press F7 again to bring open our map editor menu and we're going to scroll up to new map. As soon as we select new map, it is going to clear out any maps that we loaded previously like so. All right. So everything is gone. As you can see, no more cars, no more house. There goes the wolf dog. <laughs> so yeah. That's pretty much how you install map editor all right if you enjoyed this video if this video helped you smash that like button and definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with your friends that are in the modding gta y'all this is games of graphics me and big ball and ass frank we out of here until next time also stay tuned because we are going to have another video showing you how to install custom maps so you might want to stick around for that one that one should be dropping today and for the rest of this week we'll be we will be installing houses and mansions and maps all right so definitely subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so you can stay tuned anytime that i drop those videos y'all i'm out here until next time I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.